Yeah, the concern is that the chances are bleak for any roadmap for delivery of uh, climate funding to developing countries. Uh, we know that uh, there had been a promise of 30 billion between the interval of 2010 and 2012, and that period expires in a few days' time. And we expect that here in Doha, which will be the beginning of 2013 onwards, there should be a decision, a commitment by developed countries to make more climate finance available so that we can continue work in our communities. As we speak here, uh, climate change impasse and extreme weather is continuing to lash at our communities. Uh, lives have been lost and this requires finance to address them. But unfortunately, there's no finance discussions on the table. And uh, this means that uh, the Africa and developing countries are going to be condemned into extinction. So that is why we think that we should not live here without a roadmap how funding will be made available to developing countries from 2013 year on. If that does not happen, then it's a big challenge. Our countries will face a challenge of extinction. It will be a crisis for survival. And at worst, they may have to go to borrow money again from the same developed countries. And borrowing money will mean uh, paying interest. So it will, it will push developing countries, in particular African countries, down, down the depths already that uh, we found ourselves in. So we think that our negotiators here, our policy makers here, our presidents and ministers should look at this very seriously and uh, address it here in Doha. I mean, you say lives are being lost. Uh, I mean, as the situation stands at the moment, how does the money come through to development projects around Africa in a kind of fragmented way, in different ways for every different project? I mean, what, you, what is it you need exactly? Like a clear, transparent way of getting hold of the money, necessary money, easily uh, and, and, the same, and the same methods across the board? Yeah, thank you. Uh, these things have been discussed already. And as a result, there is a Green Climate Fund which has been decided and instituted. So that is a one-stop institution to receive uh, climate finance from developed countries and transfer this to developing countries. And that way, uh, rules are being developed, how these monies can be brought in transparently and also channeled in a transparent manner. Uh, so the stage is set. What is needed now is to fill the fund. And that is where we are. Uh, I recall that yesterday, Unfortunately, some of the developed countries who are supposed to give the funds say they cannot make any commitment here in Doha. And uh, we, we think this is a very serious statement uh, because we have the fund set up, the Green Climate Fund is there. The decision has been taken. A promise of 100 billion had been made about two, three years ago. So it's not like we are now coming to start thinking how to get transparency, to work on it, how to get a funding. No, these things have been done already, and the pledges, the promises have been made. This is the time to deliver. So we are concerned that we are not going to see any delivery here in Derba, and this is what we are saying that must not happen. If it happens, Africa will continue to suffer already. There is widespread flooding uh, in communities. Agriculture production is dropping by 30 percent. About 30, 35 million to 600 million people will be uh, water stressed by the year 2020, and over 600 million people will also be water stressed by 2050. So these are things that we must start now. This is the time to begin to address those problems before we reach those stages. And this, we think, the policymakers must must be aware of and have a political awareness and commitment. Political commitment is what we need now because the, the situation is real, it's not imaginary. I mean, it's very easy for a developed country to say, to pledge a certain amount of money and then find all sorts of excuses not to deliver. And we've only got another day, day and a half of negotiations left. 
Are you confident? Are you ho we're obviously hopeful, but are you confident that there will be some kind of firm agreement by the end of tomorrow night? Uh, that is what we are looking for. We, 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 we are insisting that there should be uh, some monies put on the table. We are insisting. Uh, we have noted already that developed countries are not putting anything down and their statements are showing to the negative that something will really be put. But we are appealing to them that the situation is dicey. They should listen to voices on the ground and uh, change their mind and uh, commit money now because uh, those monies uh, are important. Are important because uh, while African countries uh, do not have the resources to address the impacts of climate change, there is enough resources in the West, in the developed countries, uh, which resources they have acquired through the processes that, are, that have emitted the greenhouse gases, which is causing the climate change now. And this 